Good afternoon. This is Susan, and this is Susan's Ramblings. I am continuing with a mishmash of recipes that I believe will become needed in the near future if things keep deteriorating the way they have been these past few months. I believe that you won't be able to find a lot of these uh, things in your grocery store like you used to. And I also believe that if they are in the store, you're going to pay an outrageous price for them. So I'm continuing with my recipes that I think will be used. You will use very rapidly uh, in the near future. This is a drink mixture. Instead of going to your local coffee shop, make it at home. It's a lot cheaper, and it's probably healthier for you. French vanilla cafe. One third cup of instant coffee. One cup of non-fat dry powdered milk. One half cup of powdered coffee creamer. One third cup of sugar. One half cup of vanilla instant pudding mix. Mix all ingredients thoroughly. Store in an airtight container. And to use, use three to four tablespoons in a large mug of steam, uh, steaming hot water. I usually make all my coffee mixes and hot chocolate mixes in the fall. And that way, they are ready for me all winter long, and I don't have to worry about them. Works out very, very well for me. Oops, I'm moving one here. Cornbread mix. Four cups of cornmeal. Four cups of flour. One fourth cup of baking powder. Two teaspoons of salt. Mix the ingredients thoroughly. Store in an airtight container. To make your cornbread, use two cups of cornmeal mix, one fourth cup of melted butter, cold, one cup of buttermilk at room temperature, one beaten egg, one fourth cup of honey. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Place one tablespoon of butter in a cast iron frying pan. Place the pan in the oven and melt the butter. In a large bowl, combine the cornmeal mix, the melted and cool butter, buttermilk, eggs, and honey. Mix until all dry ingredients are moistened, but do not overmix. Your batter will be lumpy. Using a pot holder, carefully remove the pan from the oven and place on a heat-resistant surface. Pour the batter into the hot pan and put the pan back into the oven. Bake for 20 minutes or until the top is golden brown and a toothpick inserted in the middle comes out clean. Carefully remove the skillet from the oven and allow the rest five minutes before serving. Cornmeal mix. Like a jiffy mix, okay? Brownie mix. Three cups of flour, two tablespoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, four cups of sugar, eight ounces or two cups of unsweetened cocoa powder. Mix all ingredients together, store in an airtight container. By the way, they are saying cocoa and chocolate will become in short uh, supply these next months. To make your brownies, Two and one half cup of brownie mix, one fourth cup of melted butter, two beaten eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla. Make sure your melted butter is cool before you add it. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Grease and flour an eight inch pan. In a large bowl, combine the melted butter, the egg, and the vanilla. Mix thoroughly. Add your brownie mix. 
Whisk until the batter is smooth. Pour the batter into the prepared pan and bake for 30 to 35 minutes. I have a note here saying you may add one half cup of chopped nuts or one half cup of chocolate chips. My last, I guess that's it for today. There's a whole bunch of <laughs> spice mixes and so forth coming up. But anyway, we'll stop here for today. And we'll get those later. Have a great day. God bless.